Just press, press that button. button. You, you press, press that, that button, button once. It turns on and starts recording. Press it again, it stops recording and turns off. Well, that's what happens. That's what happens. You sure now? Just remember this time, show how the compressor works. But you didn't tell me the last time, so I I've been duly warned that. this time. I've been duly warned, have I? Yes. Here. See you uh, at dark. Yeah. Hello everybody. My name is Farmer Finn and in today's video we are in Belair Estate and we are going to be spreading the hills. Not just one hill, not just two hills, we will be spreading the three hills. I can't remember the last time I spread the third hill. It could be four if not five years ago. The hill doesn't get spread very often because it's normally not ready to be, it's normally not fit to, enough to be spread because it is a fair bit of a hill. So anyways, before we get too much further in the video, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, ring the bell, so you get notified of my videos every Tuesday, Thursday and Sunday. So, we've already done a half a day's work here. We spread two paddocks, fields you could call them. There's nine, nine and a half hectares and two paddocks just to give you the kind of size. So it's, it's quite big, it's nice nice work. So the reason I didn't film this from the start was because I didn't re know I was going to do all the hills. I knew I was doing some of the hills, but I didn't think I was doing the third hill. And I just said, the third hill is just such a, a rarity to get spread, that I says, I'm just gonna have to, I have to film it, just to show you what, What's the most extreme kind of a hills we do? Probably not as extreme as other people watching do, but it's the most extreme that we do. We tip on out here, the pipe is in that paddock down there and the paddock below me, so we have to gather up that pipe and rejig it and head in that way for the hills that are side at the hedge there. And also, I have company for the day. The sheep dog, my cattle dog, is gonna spend the whole day running around after me, barking. The whole day. That's why he does every day. So it's not as early a start as we would like as we had to, with one of our customers at home, had slack dang full so we had to go to him with the agitator to pump into another tank. Also had to sort out a few little things with cattle so just didn't get the start I wanted. But hopefully, hopefully, the three hills, two hours and one, maybe two more, bit more than two hours and another, and the last one is about an hour spreading. So hopefully we get all done by this evening. We we'll go gather up this pipe here. Now these are a little bit hilly, but not too bad. These these are these are really hilly compared to what I'll be going on to later. Anyways, tractors like that, and that's about level. So anyways, we get this pipe and rolled up, rejig. Also, we will turn on our auto steer. We're getting it booted up and connected to the RTK and the satellites, and I'll explain a little bit more about that later on when we get set up, because. Little bit of an update on it. We've got serious range from the yard with RTK based we had the new the new base station. Serious range. So, just starting to roll up the pipe and I have to keep an eye, I'm rolling up two pipes to, tied together or, or still attached and there's a clip, we went across the wire so I have to keep an eye that the clip that's the far side of the wire doesn't get caught in the wire coming across so I have to keep an eye on the two posts that's laying down to see that they don't start wobbling if they start wobbling, I'm going to have to go running and see what's wrong, well, I know what's wrong but uh, these clips, I think they're what is it, stored clips. Anyways, the clips that we're using aren't too bad. They don't generally get caught in wires, but if they were Bauer clips we had, oh, you forget about a Bauer clip, it just get caught. And no two ways about it, never get across a wire without getting caught. But these clips generally go across without too much hassle. Anyways, get this pipe rolled up. So, we're just uh, rejigged and laying into the bunny hill. As I like to call it, the easiest of the three hills to do. 
so it will lead to the very top corner which is way up up the hill there so yeah you always when you're doing hills start at the bottom work your way to the top because it can be quite hard to drag all the piping up to the top I'm gonna give her a bit and hit the four wheel drive drop her back get up this hill Put too much pipe dirt. Yeah. We keep going on up the hill. I don't think the camera does any justice to just how much of a hill I'm climbing at the minute, but oh, I'm ready yeah. to go here. Light me up. Some view from up here. So you can see the way my pipe is down there. Quite a bit of a loop down there, so I might actually have enough down to do it all. But anyways, we're gonna dribble the first one because I can, well it's most of it anyways, some of the slopes I have to splash but I'll show you how I do that so we get ourselves unfolded that's grand, flick it over so, yeah I hear you there I've just hit start recording so I can record what I'm doing and I'm not going to do any lines or engaged off of steer not like get down off this first hill so that I have nice straight lines here's another dog coming to join me take a minute to get up but we'll do this first bit of a uh, knobbly bit of a hill here and we'll get down onto kind of the flatter ground we'll set up a rojo steer and this feels not too bad you kind of have it in three stages where you have a bit of a flat bit, bit of knobbly hills not too bad the next one you have two flat bits the rest of the hills and the next one's just a hill so yeah anyways just wait for slurry I'm going to put down the camera I'm going to get this hill done not be concentrating too much on holding the camera because I do not have a lot of turning ground up here it's about three runs wide I just yeah, make sure I don't slide down off this bit. So just spreading the side of the hill. So just the lie of the tractor. And that's about square. You can see how it square is by the trees. It's about the only way you can judge. So it is just how steep this is. But um, yeah, no, we're tipping away. We'll get down off here spreading away we're, we're putting it out about 4,000 gallons to the acre and as you can kind of see from what's coming out there it might actually be just crossing a bit of a kink there or something not much coming out but as you can see what's what's coming out there it is basically dirty water very very little color in it and that is because uh, the bag generally only take, takes the dairy washings and the collecting yard so there's always very little slurry in it. and the reason for that is the bag you can't exactly agitate there is a little propeller on the middle of it as you might see in some of father phil's footage or that or the drone footage but like other than that there is no way of agitating that tank or that bag so putting anything in it that's going to form a crust means you're not going to get that crust out of it that well so it generally only takes the the very watery stuff and that's what we always put out that's that's getting steep there now one thing I do have to be careful of when doing these hills and that is keeping an eye on my arms because we have the older mass take triple bar our arms come just straight out whereas the new ones come out upwards so that they're less likely to strike the ground so I just have to keep an eye out for that but hopefully that shouldn't be this field isn't too bad next field I have to be very careful it's generally just where you come down off the bits of hills onto flat ground is what I have to be mindful of you can see there now again a little bit closer comfort nice short runs up and down this bit of a hill just to make sure I have the least amount of piping so I can climb it and get across it nice and high. so I'm my first run done along the top of the hedge no over wouldn't call it a straight line but I'm going to try my second run and make it straight so what I need to do now is press my plus button press straight line press point A and then now drive in a straight line so now it lays a straight line from point A to wherever I put down point B, which hopefully will be at the other end. So you back up this steep bit of a hill. Just try and get this straight now, and then we'll have nice straight lines for going down the rest of the field down there. Yeah, our AB line down, and then we can engage the Aho steer, and the Aho steer works. The Aho steer works quite well on the slopes, and it, you can't see on, on that, which uh, maybe I'll have to turn up the brightness so you can see it better. But you can see when I'm going on that, you'll see the, the tractor turn down the hill. But um, yeah, no, it's, it's working quite well. So, just on this while I'm laying this line. So you remember I was using a little base station, which uh, we brought with has done about five kilometers. But Mark from Farm Team set up 
a, a network station on the on the workshop in the shed or on the workshop in the yard so it's so now I'm working off network RTK rather than the little base station and that's at the shed at home we are 48 kilometers from home and I have full bars all the bars can you see I'm going to have to turn up the brightness full bars of RTK all the bars of RTK save this for a second after every time I have to save a line import and now I have straight lines so now I just line myself up <laughs> relatively speaking hit engage auto steer and auto steer now is engaged it's now hands free so all I gotta do is just make sure that I turn it off on and off at either end and just be careful on some of the hills that I might just do it manually rather than relying on it because just just in case very very happy now with this new RTK because I don't have to bring the base station with me and I have it basically ever. This is as far south as we go so basically you're going to have this everywhere so really really happy so if you want to check out the FJ Dynamics auto steer which is rooting away here we'll show you at the end how much we're going to have done in that but if you want to check it out or that I leave a link in the description down below to my farm team and you can get in contact with them if you want to learn more but very very happy with it it's worked very well for us and the, this new station is put up yes very very nice very very happy with that we'll mosey on here there's about two hours spreading here not gonna fill two hours of me talking other nonsense so anyways we get this field covered so we're just as i i always class the drinkers around the halfway mark so that's the halfway point of this field done happy days steers working away there fine have a noise she's got the brightness turned up so you should be able to see it there a lot better and yeah we're just on the the brow of the next big hill there below me and um, i don't think we'll get spreading across crossways on it um, but anyways look at, yeah that's the halfway mark half this first bunny hill done anyways coming to the headland turn off oh dear turn and there's my friend at least he's not barking at me that is the main thing when he spends the day barking I tell you it gets very very annoying now line ourselves up again hit continue and She's running away. There's the cows heading in. There is some amount of cows. Oh, we're getting on ground here now. So we are, well, we 4.78 hectares covered. So yeah, in there slowly but surely. About two thirds of the way it's in now, but yeah. The cows coming in, so they're gonna come in, then walk up the hill behind me, and then on in for the parlor. So we have this field done. We have to blow out, roll up the pipes, and then head for basically the top corner of the field again. Beside that bit of a hill, there's a gap on to the next one, and then we're into the intermediate hill. Oh, we get that one spread. Yes. Yeah, it's just fine. Watch a bit of YouTube there. Catch up with Jerry6420 in this vintage auction of machinery he was at. It's a lovely 1200, actually, lovely tractors. That 135 he was looking at too. Very, very nice. If you want to check it out, go over to Jerry 6420's channel. He was at a um, vintage machinery or tractor auction. Very, very nice articles in it. Home. Very, very nice. So, we are at the bottom of the hill next to the roadway. So, it's time to ring fat or buzz in the fatter fill to see can they hear me? Can you hear me there? Yeah. Yeah, blow me out there. from his lordship to blow him out. So it is very simple as you can see we have our applied 350 compressor on the front. Massive piece of equipment. So what we have to do is very simple. Shut down the throttle. Turn off the PTO. Shut the outlet valve. hear it squeaking 
and turn on the PTO, front PTO. You're cutting in, see the pipe jumping up, and now we're on the blowout. Simple as that. Good setup on it because we have the pipe cable tied to the bottom of the tractor permanently and connected to the pump. At the pump, then we have a non return valve so it doesn't leak anything back into the compressor and we also have a gate valve to shut it off but most of the time you can leave it open because the non return valve does its job plus there is another on non return valve built into the Vermont 350 compressor so it can't get back into it very important on an air compressor when you're working a slurry to have a non return valve and better still if you have two that's it just rev up the tractor and uh, He'll be blown out in a couple of minutes. Only takes a couple of minutes. It's, it's huge air pressure. Huge. I'll just show you what's coming off the compressor there now. It's a very nice, tidy piece of equipment on the front of the tractor. Huge output. Absolutely massive output. We've had it now since January. Um, absolutely brilliant. Couldn't, couldn't recommend it high, high enough to simplify the blowing out of the pipes so much. It's about twice the strength of a normal road compressor. And that's it, I just have to wait for him to give me the shout to say turn it off. Turn it off there. Turn it off there. Turn it off there. So that's it. Only takes a few minutes. Blew out. Great job. I don't know, it feels odd holding the camera looking and him not there as far happier when he's pointing the camera in my face and I give it out to him but anyway that's it that's my day big big bag of well mostly dairy washings we're pumping it down across that hill there probably the best part of a mile from me at the minute so he just has to rechange and rejig himself now onto another field and we get that spread and we have one more to do after that and then we're back up on the McKee load order and back for home now, just roll up that pipe and then rejig that pipe back over that way. It's a bit windy, but just these wheels. This job two years ago when is that wheel went bang. <clears throat> so we've had these tires, these um, 1.2 meter wide tires, two years now. And they've worn quite well. It's actually quite windy out here. But you can see this side, it looks like, you know, very little wear. You get into this side, that's where the secret is. It always wears on the inside harder than it does on the outside. And that's just because the tire is so bloody wide. Yeah, fun fact, two years ago, we get this pipe hooked up and rolled up. So now we are on top of the intermediate slope. So we're way up. You can just see the cows going back out to the paddock, the little black and white dots down there. But anyways, the bus father Phil ready to go. Right, I'm ready to go here. Let me up. I think that means okay. It's getting a lot of interference up here. So while we wait for pressure, because I have a fair bit of piping down with all off the back. So anyways, while I do that, these lines are for Dutterfield, so I want to go back. I will put in new lines, so we'll go task, guidance line. I want no guidance line. And then that lets me put in my new line, but if I can, how do I do this now? I can show you how I've spread. So you can see, you can see the, the first hill field I done, that one there. And then they were the two I done the last day. So it's pretty cool. I nice looking at that. But anyways, ready to go. So just hit start. Just leave it ready. I'll do my first run by the trees because I'll have to kind of go in and out under the branches and then just let me AB line and then spread. I'll fire up the drone. This the top of this field isn't too bad. Then we get into some real hairy stuff and then it tapers out to flat at the bottom. So yeah, that's it. Hill number two started. So again, 4,000 gallons to the equipment, nice and handy. Anyways, oh, 
My friend is barking at me. Good bit, hon. Huh? Yeah, we're spreading them. So, just finishing off the field. Cows are out there. A lot of things quite like on a Friday. Dave Duke and his bop bop baby bus. Pretty good. But anyways, we make the call into Father Phil there now. Right, blow me out there. Just finishing off the field here. That's it now. Just finish off the last run here. And then we gather up this pipe, one pipe, and then rejig the other pipe. Then for the drinker at the top corner to head for hill number three, the steep one. I'm on the blow there now, so we get the pipe blew out and get gathered up. So now you might be able to hear me. It's very very windy up here, but we just have to loop, throw the loop of piping across this drinker here into the next field. And now, it's time to get ourselves around that side of the hill. So, we're just driving in the gap of the field now. The very top of the hill. Well, kind of in the bit of a forest there is the top of the hill, but this is the highest field. And the highest point of the hill. Right here, even higher than in the forest. We got our pipe laid off, so we lay in pipe pulling in our sack, laying our pipe to the top, laying it back down a bit, and then we'll spread, we'll spread it in two pipes, or that's what I done the last time. As I said, it's been a while. So we'll spread the first half of the pipe, pull it down as we spread it, go side to side. As you can see, deer to deer isn't very wide. Top half of the field isn't too bad, but from here down is where it gets a bit, bit hairy. So I think I might spread the top half of the field or the top part of the field and then when I start to get down I'll fire up the drone and we'll see what kind of footage I get. We'll get this pipe straightened up. So now we have the pipe down, it's up and it goes down so we buzz in the father fill. Ready to go here, light me up. Anyways one thing I want to do, I want to map this out so I want to change my working width. So I'd say 12 meters. Maybe. No, we'll go 10. Well, that's why I'm set to. You see, you normally spread wider. Let's just say 12 meters for argument's sake. Just to map it out. Because this is good watery stuff, so I should be I should be going every bit as wide, if not wider, than I normally would. So, yeah, it's just a matter of waiting. You can see the pipe is starting to inflate there, which is a good sign. Slurry is on its way. Slurry is on its way. Cue drone shots, hopefully.
So now we're basically over the worst of what the hill had to, to throw at us. So now you can see there. A little bit more piping to pull down. I was trying to watch it with the drone there while I had it up, but it's kind of run out of battery. So I will be putting down another pipe. There's another bit of a field just behind them stones and trees there. A gap is just in there. We'll pull a pipe to do that. Do that bit there. We're, we're, the, the worst of it is over now. The worst of it is over. But yeah, that, that completes it. I've This is the second time I've done that. This is like ticking one off the list. As I said, it, this field is either too wet, the grass hasn't been that half it, or there's, there's always just something. It's just, it's not fit to be spread when we be either doing the hills or doing other bits here. But this is like the cows before they were on the, the field they're on now. This is the one they had eaten off. So anyways, look, I hope you, you, you got a feel for what kind of hills are in it. It is, it is pretty steep. It is, there is a quick elevation up and down. But anyways, look at one of the reasons why we, do these hills and we travel this far to do this we've been we've been working on this farm for 16 or 18 years it's been an awful long time when it comes to the hills we have these wide tires these wide tires are great on hills and on soft ground soft ground to keep you up and hills to give you a low center of gravity because I'm so wide you draw the triangle from your widest two widest points to your highest point and the middle dot is your center of gravity. Higher that is, more likely you are to tip over. And with the wide wheels, our center of gravity is v quite low. It's, it's, it's very low compared to standard tires. And that just gives me that advantage to be able to do these relatively comfortably. Like, I uh, don't think I had a <laughs> moment. Not yet, anyways. Anyways, we finish up this spreading. We get blew out and see, Father Phil said that there mightn't be enough going out of the bag. Generally, this time of the year, we we'll get the bag. See the bag? will go I think it's something like eight foot into the bank and it will go eight foot over the bank and when we came it was it was as full as I've ever seen it have it down in the bank now and father Phil says it may not be enough out of it so we may have to come back maybe after the weekend to do where the cows are now and they have that hat that we can just get the rest of the bag emptied for them now I might just ring father Phil for the to turn me off so I can do that but anyways well I stop talking and I'll get this finished. So now, on the blow, shouldn't have too much more left. Just doing the last run there, up the hill, just waiting for it to run out. And yes, I see a leak. And that's some of this old black pipe, and it ain't gonna see next season. So it's not. The best show. This, I had to put down an extra pipe down here. I'm just going to try and drag it as far back up the hill as I can to roll up and then get back up the hill and roll up all the piping I've done. Hopefully that pipe goes over that pipe. That pipe, that pipe's gone under that pipe. That's not gonna work. Scratch that plant, turn around. Anyways, that's us finished now. And we get rolling up and we see what's happening. See whether, are we finished? Or are we going to be waiting till the cows are finished out there to get that one spread to get the tank, the bag down another bag. Wait for the air pressure to come off and we get rolling up a lot of pipes. And we we'll see what happens then. But I'm going. I'm not going to film any more spreading. So if we're not doing more, we'll film pun on the trailer. If we're doing more, I'll finish the video. The three hills. That's all I want to film. This one in particular. But yeah. So it is. Wait for the air pressure to come off it, and we get rolling. Well, I was waiting for the pressure to come off there. I was just tricking with the camera, and you can see there. That's what 14. That's why I've spread in one two three four five paddocks that's what it looks like 15 hectares pretty cool that you can see the spread patterns and everything happy it is That's the pipes we're all out with there. The big hill, the, the expert hill, the dangerous hill, or whatever you want to call it. So I still haven't heard from Father Phil, but he said roll up these pipes, head into the yard, and we'll go home. And um, he's fully expecting to have to do another bit just to get that bag door. So we're gonna leave it at that for today's video. I don't know what all Father Phil got. I hope he got enough. And it was to show how 
the applied concepts very mount 350 front pto compressor works and how great it is it is amazing it is a bit heavy and it sticks out a fair bit in front of the tractor but they are only minor things but it's definitely definitely a fantastic job far better than a row compressor i can tell you that now so as i was saying it got darker very all of a sudden um, as I was saying, hope Father Phil got some good fudge, but I won't know till I sit down and see it and start heading our loop starts heading it. So anyways, we're gonna leave it at that for today's video. Hope you enjoyed it. As always, please like and subscribe to the channel videos every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday. That is it for me. Good luck!